Welcome back to Desk Careers. I'm so excited to bring another incredible guest. Today we are speaking with Juliana Khalil, who is the owner and founder of Juliana Khalil Lifestyle Coaching. Welcome to Desk Careers, Juliana. It's such a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you so much. I'm also happy. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited about interviewing you and talking to you about your career journey. And I know that what you're specializing in is definitely something that our young students will be familiar with. Mind mapping is something that they have come across. But what's really exciting is how you use it and the Arabic language to help clients in their professional and their personal lives. So before we get into the details of what you do, let's just talk a little bit about the woman behind the lifestyle coaching. Who is Juliana Khalil? Yeah, thank you so much, first of all, Maria, for uh, this opportunity. So I am, uh, I am a person with, uh, I have a goal in my life. I know what I do what I want from life. So uh, by nationality, I'm Lebanese. I'm living in Dubai since 15 years. Uh, Dubai opened for me the opportunity to become entrepreneur and to move from my comfort zone and to uh, build my own company. And this is what I do. I took the action uh, one year and a half uh, and I opened my own company uh, with a mission is to help people using the power of uh, mind mapping. And my vision is to spread this, uh, the idea of mind mapping across uh, the country and moving uh, uh, ab abroad uh, because nowadays you know that uh, we have a lot of facilities especially that we can work online so we can uh, we can communicate with anyone and we can touch base with anyone uh, all over the world so uh, this is who I am I have a goal and I am specific about my goal I have smart goal I day by day I'm working to achieve this goal that's absolutely incredible I, I, I want to talk a little more about when did you know that this was your goal? So you're very focused on the goal, but when did you know, no, this is it. This is what I want to do. Uh, it was quite a few years ago. It's uh, six years ago. I started to associate with the company uh, because I have this passion towards uh, touching people's life. And, uh, you know, uh, through the journey of life, I, uh, I attended a lot of uh, seminars, workshops to understand and to start opening my mind. What is my mission? What is my vision? What is my goal in life? And I started to create my goal. And when you are focused, you attract people to come to your life and to help you achieve what you want to achieve. I call them miracles and you will start meeting people. Uh, I was quite uh, sure starting to have this uh, uh, vision uh, approximately six years ago, almost seven, and I moved forward on it. Juliana, talk to us about your brand name, Juliana Khalil Lifestyle Coaching. Where yes. did you come up with this as your brand name? Okay, uh, as you are aware, I am a certified trainer in mind mapping. Mind mapping is a visual way to deliver uh, information. I'm certified by the founder of mind mapping, Tony Buzan from UK. And uh, after those, uh, this journey, I recognized that people, uh, they came to me because of me, because of my personality, because uh, they like how I how I deliver the information, how I am dealing with people. So, uh, and after doing some investigation and I consulted my the company who created my own brand, uh, so I decided to have the company name my name because it's all about relationship with people. It's about me. And I recognized after also doing some research that uh, uh, the coaches and gurus, inshallah, I will, re I will be a guru one day, uh, they have their company in their name, like Tony Buzan, his company is his name. So I said, why not me, Juliana Khali for the Middle East? And the name will grow. And this is how it started. So my company is my name. Do you know what I'm really appreciating the most right now and in, in listening to you talk about what you do and how you're coming together with it? I'm feeling this real excitement in, in speaking with you. You come across as a very confident but very enthusiastic professional. Do you believe in your career path that that is an important element of work? 
Of course, thank you so much. You felt the vibes. Uh, thank you so much. This is very important. Even we are on Zoom, we didn't connect. I believe in something. This is one of my values is positivity. And I believe in vibration. I believe in energy. And I, uh, because I am very transparent, I'm very positive, and uh, I am very keen about my product. I know that how much my product is, uh, is uh, influencing people's lives in a positive way. That's why you feel it. You feel my passion. Uh, you feel my positivity. You feel also that maybe, I don't know, uh, I am a public person. And uh, this is me. What you see is what you get. So if you deal with me, after two, three years, you meet me, you will meet me again. You'll see that this is the same person. Yes. Uh, I have a lot of positivity. I have a lot of passion. I feel that sometimes 24 hours are not enough for me to complete what I have to do. So, you know, do you know, Juliana, I speak to professionals every day and whenever I come across a professional that brings that enthusiasm, it, it just, it's, it's almost magnetic. And when I'm talking to young people and helping them discover their future career aspirations, I'm always telling them, try to find something that brings that energy from you. Was this career path something that you found was inspired by somebody else? I know that you mentioned you're certified by Tony Buzan, but what was being a lifestyle coach something that you saw somebody do and thought, wow, that mentor has really inspired me. I think I want to continue. Or was it just yes. something that you discovered along the way? Uh, uh, both sides, if I can say, both sides. One way, uh, I had the challenge to move, uh, uh, to change my work. And I started to ask my question, that this, was, uh, this happened on 2014. So I started to ask my que questions to myself. Is this me? What I did all this life, it was me? And I discovered, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me what I was uh, doing. So I was searching for my passion. Uh, this is one. And then uh, I wanted to leave legacy. I want to, uh, my work not just to finish hours and go back home and sip and again. So it was one of these. Second, because I, I had the opportunity in UAE to meet a lot of uh, mentors like Tony Buzan. I attended Tony Robbins, uh, Brian Tracy, and, uh, so many, so many uh, gurus that came to Dubai. I got very much inspired. I said, if they were able to do it, why not me? And if you read the story of all those people, the gurus uh, who, who um, uh, played big role in, uh, in people's life, they started from nothing and they had a lot of struggle and life moved them. So I started to ask myself, why not me? So, so I, I think I, I replied to your question two ways. One way, uh, I had the challenge to because I lost my job, I want to start something. And I started to ask my question, I can be entrepreneur, why not? And uh, I started to search inside of me, what is what I want to do? Is there only one thing that, oh, I work, I make money, I sleep, I wake up, or I want my work to touch people's life and to inspire people with my way of working? This is what I wanted. It was all my life, but I discovered this not maybe after a few years, and I got inspired by other people. So two ways to help me move forward with this journey. And today I'm so happy, trust me, uh, you know, to live as an entrepreneur is challenging. It's not easy. But on the same time, just if you follow your passion, you do what you do with a lot of passion and uh, miracles will happen. People will keep talking about you. You will get business. People refer you and the business can grow. Amazing. Talk to us about being an entrepreneur. What are some of the things you learned? Now, I'm really inspired to hear that your career was inspired when you lost your job and you decided, do I want a job where I just go to work and come home and then repeat? Or do I want to make an impact and, and really inspire other people? And so you, you decided to go down this lifestyle coaching. However, in saying that, it is very exciting to own our own business and to, to be our own boss. But there are elements of being an entrepreneur that are quite challenging. And very often we don't speak about these things. In your experience, Juliana, what have been some of the benefits and some of the challenges of being an entrepreneur? 
Yes, uh, let's start, uh, as you can recognize that I'm a positive person, let's start uh, with the positive uh, side. The positive side that you are the, the uh, you are the director of yourself, okay? The positive side that you are building your brand, you are working for yourself. Those are the positive things. You are working for yourself. You are growing your brand, your name, you are building legacy. So this is, those are the uh, positive elements uh, that, that you feel, oh, I'm so proud of myself i am doing it and i am doing it in dubai i live here i am doing it so you feel that you are always challenging yourself that you're doing it so nothing is difficult anymore so those are the positive uh, things more than this you learn a lot it's a life journey it means that every day you have to learn something new you have to understand accounting you have to understand the leadership you have to uh, start uh, uh, dealing with other people to um, to to let things move to other people people for example the accounting he has to do his work to to let them to uh, to associate with other people to understand um, all the mechanism of running a business and understanding little bit of everything so which helps you to grow every day suddenly you feel oh i learned a lot now this is one area uh, which is uh, positive second the challenges that you just mentioned maria is to oh my god those negative uh, mind oh can i do the business oh can i make money this month how can i make money this month how can i take a vacation i have to take vacation vacation who will take care so those are the challenges but the good thing a few years ago i started to build my brand and i plugged myself with a network uh, group in the uh, uae that people trust me refer me so i plugged myself uh, with a network who's keep keeps on referring me and i feel uh, maria nowadays with the social media uh, to be visible is not any more difficult like like my father was entrepreneur 30 years or 35 years ago it was difficult to build your your uh, to build your brand to put advert but now with social media and uh, with all those facilities that you have around and if you use them uh, effectively, you will be able to overcome the challenges to get business. So uh, those the challenges is day to day, Shall, can I have business today? But uh, what I uh, believe in, being mindful, every day I'm grateful for one more day in my life that it helps me to learn something new with this technology and uh, everything is open. I have customers from US, I have customers from England, I have customers from India. So there is no more challenge with all this around us. I feel if you believe in what you do, you do it with passion, your product is good, finish. You get business daily. Amazing. I'm so inspired, Juliana. Yeah. Now let's talk about unlocking your mind's potential, which is your tagline, isn't it? In your lifestyle coaching using mind mapping. And I know that you use it with spoken Arabic. Tell us more about how you use mind maps and what type of clientele you look for to help our students understand that it's not just about being passionate about our work. It's also about having clarity and focus on who we're reaching as our target market. Exactly. Uh, where, uh, this is, I also believe, I always uh, talk about goal. If you know what you want, that car will take you to what you want to reach. It's not like, oh, I want it. Thanks, uh, thanks a lot for this question. Okay. I will talk a little bit about mind mapping and locking your mind potential. Yes, this, this is true. So let me explain a little bit what is mind mapping. So many people know what is mind mapping, but I will brief. It's a picture typically similar to the brain cell. Okay, this is the name, mind mapping. Simply because our, our brain doesn't like to take the information linear, our brain likes to take the information in a picture. So it's a process of transforming the information from something linear to something visual picture. The moment you do it, you help your brain to declutter the information and put them in a paper. So I teach how to help people using this technique, the mind mapping technique, which is not difficult, and how to apply it in their daily life for anything can be applied. Any, the mother, she can apply it in her day-to-day -day -day schedule with children, the students in their daily studies, business person for his 
business uh, goal or whatever. And apart from this, because I believe in action, I decided to create a content called Spoken Arabic by using mind mapping. As I said before, Maria, I am native Arabic speaker. I'm from Lebanon, so I speak Arabic fluently. I, it's my first language. I speak French, of course, and English. And I felt there is a lot of need in this part of the world to speak the language. And I created my own content called Spoken Arabic by using mind mapping, which helped people to associate the way of thinking. I facilitate the process. And after a few hours, I started to speak because the challenge in Arabic, what you read and write is something different than what you speak. So uh, this is what happened. And the product started to become very famous because people saw the outcome coming because I assure always guaranteed result. Now, back to your question, you asked me who's my target market. My target market, I'm very focused. A, a, a people or um, uh, employees and um, uh, employees or entrepreneur who want to uh, the people who want to learn the language mainly um, uh, mainly spe specifically in the sector of uh, cor corporate they are dealing with the government sector because you know everyone in uh, UAE speaks English so they feel oh why I want to learn Arabic but uh, specifically company formation uh, company dealings with the government sector this is my target market uh, uh, universities and uh, universities and schools, uh, especially after activities, uh, schools after activities, because so the teachers or students can learn how to speak. And parallel to this, uh, entrepreneur or employees, as I mentioned, who want who have customer um, Arabic speaker, and they want to start dealing with them because communication will help you to build a better relationship with the person. Amazing. And listening to you tell me all this incredible information about your career and your client base and, and how you're thinking, I'm, I'm connecting the dots to subjects that students might find a good combination with your career path. So coming to my mind instantly, the obvious is business studies. I also imagine that uh, using the mind map, you're also using technology. So subjects using technology, ICT, computer science. What other subjects do you think, other than the obvious Arabic, would also be a good connector for a student wanting to be an entrepreneur or more specifically working with mind mapping? Uh, for example, uh, creative writing is one of the things uh, creative writing, uh, uh, creative writing, and uh, speeches. Uh, speeches. If they want, if they have some thoughts, they want to talk to. So uh, you know, especially uh, must uh, students. Uh, they are preparing their master. They have to to uh, uh, to talk in front of the uh, teachers of the community. So mind mapping can help to create the dots to to help to connect things, to be able to create a, a talk easily. And for creative writing, if they want to write their thesis uh, through mind mapping, uh, or for example, preparing a business plan, if like say a, a student, he wants to, to open uh, his own business, it can, be, uh, it can be created through mind mapping, a business plan. Let's talk about your top three career tips. Uh, you said specific, measurable, and achievable, and it should be something that comes from the heart. Why are these your top three? Uh, yes, as I said, it's passion. Passion. If I, uh, if I will not, uh, if you don't have passion, people, why, why they want to come to you? If, they, if you don't believe in what you feel, what you do, why people, they want to come to you. And uh, as I said, passion and uh, specific. I am specific. So I uh, specific plus I'm transparent because I believe that if I will tell you that this is the outcome that you will get with me, if you are spending those hours with me, you will get what you want. So I am very, uh, this is, those are my values in a nutshell. What have been some of your highlights, some of the things that you think on your career as an entrepreneur and you think, wow, these have been really exciting moments for me, definitely have learned a lot from these moments? 
Ah, uh, exciting moment when you sign a big agreement. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I, oh my God, people not, trust me. And exciting moment when people call you and they told you, tell you, Juliana, I don't want to know anything. Don't send me anything. I have heard a lot about you. And finish. I want to sign up. Oh my God! I feel oh, so you built your reputation. Those are exciting moments, but. In parallel to this, I want to share something. It may it holds me more accountable. Those are the moments when you people call me and say, "Oh, I want. I have heard a lot of about you." I, it holds me more accountable. Means I have to keep on going, to keep learning something new, to keep providing the same level. You cannot, as an entrepreneur, say today I want to see. No, never. It's it's a continuous learning experience, continuous uh, follow-up and uh, a continuous, uh, yes, sub, uh, continuous uh, work. Thank Those you. Are, Thank you so much. It was such, so much fun talking to you. Your energy, <laughs> your, your vibration, it's whatever, whatever you call it. I, I found it to be extremely exciting and I hope that um, you also enjoyed talking with us today. Thank you so much. Of course, my pleasure. And thank you, Maria, for uh, for this opportunity. And uh, I'm so grateful to have the chance to, to talk to you as well. Where can we find you, Juliana, if we want to be reaching out? Uh, first of all, uh, my website, as I said, julianahalil.com. And from the website, uh, all the information are there. Uh, Thank you, Juliana. And that brings us to the end of another incredible conversation. Today, we were speaking with Juliana Khalil, who is the owner and founder of Juliana Khalil Lifestyle Coaching. I'll see you all at our next Desk Careers Digital Spotlight.